Are the iPhone and iPad getting motion controls with iOS 7? I'm, hold on. I'm not having a seizure or anything. I'm trying to move the teleprompter up, but it's, it's not working. Oh, there it goes. Now, during the opening titles, we reinstalled iOS 6 on the teleprompter since 7 was still buggy. But as it turns out, the answer is actually maybe. According to 9to5Mac, an option in the developer versions of iOS 7 allows users to override the touchscreen controls via the accessibility menu. The way it apparently works is the iPhone or iPad uses the front-facing camera and then runs through options one by one on the screen until the user moves their head left or right to select a command. If you're trying to launch an app, it will select rows of apps until you move your head, then start cycling through the apps until it lands on the one you want. Think of it like a giant press your luck board, only instead of yelling, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, stop! You just jerk your head around to select an app and they flash on the screen. And for those of you guys who don't remember press your luck, consider yourself educated. Really? Big buck, big buck, stop! Stop it, oh whammy, yes. <laughs> While the head tracking feature does seem time consuming and kind of pointless, it does pose advantages for users with limited mobility. Though, since iOS 7 is a beta, it's not certain whether or not this feature will be available to the public during its official release this fall. But this isn't the first time motion tracking has been used in mobile devices. Samsung's Galaxy S4 uses eye tracking to scroll pages up and down and will even stop a video if you look away. Could motion tracking be the next big thing in mobile devices? Or do you think it's a feature you'll never end up using? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying it took seven months, but I finally got a Press Your Luck reference into the show. R.I.P. Peter Tamarkins, and subsequently the announcer Rod Roddy. Both are dead. Love that show. Love those whammies. Say it with me now, are you ready, Todd? I'm ready. Yeah, we'll watch you, Lauren. I'm ready to go. Liz, behind the camera, are you ready to go? I can't hear you, Liz. Ready. What, what? You ready to do this? Ready. Let's do it. Here we go, TFN, episode 505. What, what, we've done 500 episodes in seven months. Yeah, boy, here we go.